This is my version of how to create an agate mosaic tray. First, sketch your design and place beneath the tray mold. Then, using GE Advanced Silicone and a dripless caulk gun, build up your design within the tray mold. This silicone will fuse to the tray mold, creating a new permanent mold. Add your first layer of resin along with your tray handles. Allow this layer to cure. You may then add a second thin layer of resin with additional pigment and embellishments to create more depth. Once the second layer has cured, remove each individual agate slice, sanding the edges and painting the edges to create more definition. Place the slices carefully back into the second tray mold, allowing for suction along the bottom of the slices. This will prevent the additional resin from seeping below the agate slices. Allow for adequate spacing for easy piping. I filled a small craft bottle with resin and sparkling pigment and piped it between the agate slices to allow the slices to adhere to one another. In this video, I have left out an additional step which requires a flood coat to the top of the tray, allowing for a smooth level surface. If you have any questions about how this tray was created or the supplies used, please first read the text below the video where I list all the supplies I used to create the tray. For process questions, you may list them in the comments below and I will try to answer them in a timely manner. If you decide to make a similar tray, I would love for you to tag me in your post. I want to take this time to thank all of you who commented on my posts as I was making this tray over the past week. Your helpful advice allowed me to salvage this tray and create and present this beautiful end product. I hope you enjoyed the video. And once again, I thank you for your support. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment below and I will try to make more IGTV videos in the future. Thank you for watching. And thank you again for your support. I appreciate you all.